So they want to take the time to try and harass any person who does not outright hate cops, who doesn't say those pigs deserve to fry. You know, that old BLM chant, pigs in a blanket, frying like bacon. If they don't go out and they explicitly say fuck cops, they will be in your mentions, they will be in your inbox. They'll be on your company timeline saying how you're a monster and how you need to be canceled. Because how couldn't you stand with all of those little brown boys and girls? You know, the same brown boys and girls that were robbing places like Nike and HLM. Gotta no. get them new Jordans, man. Yeah, you just, uh, they, they got, gotta cop the Jordans. I gotta get my vintage Jordans clear so I can be able to become one of the members of the White Cuddy Force, like Whitney Ryan intended. Oh, also, Karl, can I stop you right there? Yeah. Now, Barnabas wants to. Uh, Barnabas wants to ask you a question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Barnabas, uh, hop Hi. on. Hi. Um. So, like, I'm I'm just curious about your your position on ACAB. Um. So, do you, do you Wonderful. not think all cops should be wrapped in a blanket and uh and burned alive? Is is that not something you want? Or clearly, if they should be wrapped in the blanket, I want them to have a nice garlic base of loyal. So they come out nice and crispy. I see. I see. I, I wasn't sure but, on but your no. position because um. But no, but no, I don't think. But no, but no, the cops are not all bastards, ladies and gentlemen. Well, why not? Because if I were to hold every single cop accountable for the actions of all cops, that'd be unfair. Now, this no, is clear well, no. the fact that I don't know. I know where you're going with this. Okay. All right. This is not the same thing as if you're a good cop, and you remain silent, and you protect your bad cops. You're as bad as the bad cops. I'm going to hold you accountable if you're something that you could have done and you did nothing for because you believe you have to stand in solidarity because you're supposed to do so. Because what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to do your job, damn job. That's what I'm you call, wait, 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 call, Yeah, call. But, but you but, like, chose. Do you to not have remember that. the case? Wait, sorry. One second, Bernard. Like, you remember the case? Like, uh, there was like this uh, this LA cop. Uh, he was working. He was a black cop working with a white female cop as his partner, mm -hmm. and she was she was beating up. She was like beating, being way brutal, like doing like way more than she had to he uh -huh. reported her to his superior he got fired and then they just brushed over everything she did although mm -hmm. he did he did then go on a police massacre of of police officers and their families that resulted mm -hmm. in him getting like lit up by 400 cops but other than that you know yeah oh no i already lost i already posted that in the podcast chat and if anybody who's in the discord who saw that can repost that that is a very wonderful entire thing by Dave what? Chappelle in his oh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, I was gonna say. under 846, which is the amount of time, 8 minutes, 46 seconds, that the cop put his knee on the neck of David Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. Their, their names are blending together. David George, George Floyd, all of the other women and men. It's, it's getting long. How many are we at now of victims that have been killed during the riots? 14? I don't know. White, I black, Asian, too. Italian? Hmm? There's a whole list of them. What? <clears throat> yes, there's plenty of shit that happens where in policing, cops are not doing their jobs. But it would be ridiculous for me to support such a sentiment as all cops are bastards because I've worked with the police departments. I've worked with my federal department, worked with my uh, state departments. I don't know if anybody knows, but I had worked directly with the state which I live in to work to catch the pedos and also get people off the street who are doing this shit, stopping trafficking. It would be an idiot thing for me to say all cops are bastards, because clearly not all cops are, but it's enough of them. Well, you think that this is bastards change. can do good things, right? Of course I can. I'm perfect example proof. Okay. So, like, I, I get it. He, this cop, you know, bought his dad a birthday present, but he's still supporting a, a fucking system that's awful, though. You you can't turn a blind eye. Okay, well, they do some good things, you know. They, you know, they do a good job, but, you know, they slip up sometimes. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean we're, all, we're all supporting a system that's evil. Just, I mean, just by living, we're all supporting various systems that do horrible things. How curious. I'm pretty sure this whole <laughs> political system is evil. Yeah, you, I mean, what, what do you mean Rocky political? Out. Well, what do you mean political system? You mean democracy? No, not democracy. I'm just about saying. the democracy like, part. Congress, the Senate. You know, it's not very. You mean corporatism? Right now. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Like, I mean, like, I don't like the businesses, but I mean, to the, for the most part, it's pretty great. I think it's pretty great. Look, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not like a, a communist or anything. But like, the one thing that I will Here give, uh, I, the one thing that I will <laughs> give, like all the uh, uh, the hammer and sickles that come across me on Twitter. 
there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Does that mean I'm going to stop using Amazon Prime? No, fuck it. I'll, I'll do whatever I want. But do I believe that it's not necessarily the greatest system? Of course. Does it contribute there to horrible no things? Of course. Will I continue to buy chocolate despite knowing that a bunch of black kids uh, risk their lives to make it? Of course. But I can acknowledge that it's bad, and I'm, I'll accept that. <clears throat> that I makes mean, that chocolate taste oh so much sweeter. Given the opportunity, <laughs> wouldn't you want a better <laughs> system, though? Or would you just throw of your course. hands up and say, fuck it? Well, see, here's the thing. With me, I'm just going to say that do I want to do I want to lose out on what I already have for the purpose of trying to remake something that will likely never work out even if it it's, is remade? It's an effort over satisfaction, I guess a graph matrix, whatever you want to call it. And I'm pretty sure like, yeah, sure, the system is terrible. Could it be done better? Of course. But is abolishing all cops the way to do it? Definitely not. Um, if we have problems with the system, we should try to change the system. But you know what we shouldn't do? Create an autonomous zone where we don't even know how to plant things because none of y'all oh have to. Oh, no, that's the autonomous zone. zone. That is the best the thing that happened zone. to this country in a long fucking time, I swear. Because now, I now, agree. Right, now all the alt writers know that they can just make autonomous zones. Now all the liberals know well, they no, can no, just no, make no, an no. autonomous the, zone. If the alt writers made, made an autonomous zone, they'd be way code in like five hours. They'd be freaking mm -hmm. way code. Like, like, it would be done. It would be immediately done. No, before they would be wake by the police or anything else, they'd be wake by just a bunch of uh, uh, BLM protesters with, like, Molotovs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. If anything, like, if anything, what would happen is the same so ridicule that we're doing. Right is not armed, like, boogaloos with fucking guns? <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, it would turn into a massacre one way or the other. One, That's all I'm going to say. One Black Lives Matter would step on their front porch, and they'd probably light him up like a firecracker. Well, yeah, it would turn into a war. It would turn into a war, a guerrilla war. But that's kind of the, the point. That's why it's great. That's why... Uh, I mean, the It really is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I like alt-right people. Not at all. Um, but uh, the the passion of revolution to change your country is not there anymore. And because of that, we are being trampled on. I am... I am happy to see people actually standing up and fighting for what they believe, even if they can't plant potatoes. Um, <laughs> um, I, I like the enthusiasm. I may not fight for your certain political ideology, but it's a great fucking idea. It's terrific. <laughs> Look, honestly, the, I'm all for the idea of building your, your own little place if, the, if, if you can manage it. But I just think it's very funny that it's, it's only been what two? It's th three days, and it's all gone to shit already. What do you think about bastard cops? <coughs> My entire thing with cops and them being oh. bastards or not on the whole scale is very simple. It is not all cops, but it's clearly more than enough of them. Okay. The system has to. Be. So let's say this. It let's say to. let's say you work at a puppy smashing factory, right? And uh, you chose that job. You chose to sign up, sign your name on the dotted line of the puppy crushing factory, right? The puppy stomping factory. And you go to work and you stomp puppies and people are like, what the fuck? You're stomping puppies, you ugly ass hoe. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not stomping. Pu I'm just. I, like I'm not a bad person. I I'm just working. I'm just doing my job. You know. You're, you're literally describing okay, wait, the wait, wait. Amish. But wait, wait, okay. okay, look. There's two things. Puppy two stomping? things I have to say. Like, there's no puppy stopping oh factories God, except no un idea. unless you go to no, China. No, 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 unless you go to China. Let, no, we, unless we, you go to China, there's no puppy stopping factories. And second, <laughs> that's not a joke. I actually have video of them stop, uh, stopping puppies. If you want to see it, of course. Um, second, of course you do. Of course you do. Be grossed off of podcast, Chris. <laughs> second, oh second thing. Pose on it. Second thing, you can't really compare the like the police aren't a blatantly a malicious organ. Like they're not bla like their purpose is not blatantly malicious. Like I don't know, seal clubbers or puppy stompers that's that's a bad comparison it's like saying that uh hunters are just animal killers they they like, are i mean yeah but like <laughs> like look like that's different it's like they hunt for food not hunt just to kill animals unless you, of course you are you are a hunter that is is out there killing animals that would make cats inherently bad <laughs> like I, that's I, that's the general point like we can't compare police to just puppy stompers it's oh, oh what i i, I care I love for you. I say this with peace and love, 
but let me fight my fucking debate for me. Go ahead, Carl. Do your thing. This is one v one, boys. I hope you're ready to bleed. You better get those band aids ready, bud. <laughs> How was that actually more homosexual than when you started? Oh, I, I can I can crank I it up a few notches if you want. I got my. The podcast. I got yeah, my yeah, we, started, we started a while ago. We're we're just just 30 minutes. minutes. <laughs> Listen, we're I got my homo sex machine. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were late. Yes. All right, let let Carl respond. You were later than a pregnancy, Amy. Oh my god. But no, let's go at your analogy of the Pushman Crushing Factory, right? This puppy Crushing okay. Factory. Yes. Let's say it's one of the many places that is now destroyed because of those who decided they were going to take the law into their own hands and destroy their neighborhoods. Okay. Right? From the... From, we're, I'll put myself in position because it'll make it easier for the analogy to use. All right. At this puppy Crushing Factory, where I live in a shit place and I need to pay for my bills... Mm -hmm. and people who have the sentiment let's say peter or something they destroy the factory because hey don't let a crisis go to waste and also guys protect the animals regardless of the fact that i don't like crushing puppies i need to put food in my mouth now they've destroyed my job how do i feed myself how do i solve my problems okay, get, get another job, okay. Carl. but you guys have raised the neighborhood down to the ground but get, 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 the for, get the government to help you. The government's already trying to help us, and y'all are telling them don't do that, but also do do that. There have been multiple restrictions inside of the bill they tried to give us to give the first means of our taste of socialism plus. The Trump checks. Y'all want to give us more, but they're taking our own tax money and bleeding it back to people who do not give a shit. Corporations like Nike, who on the books for years, years, have been responsible for... Oh, I don't know. Take an injustice. They've done it. Everything from how they get their materials to putting together their products. Y'all would just let them off the hook by saying, hey, Black Lives Matter, everybody, and you go home. Me, whether or not I like what I'm doing or not, gotta put food on the table. You take my shit away from you and destroy any opportunities of anything at all, ever. Okay. Carl, it is I'm astounding. It is astounding it, how okay. you are trying to jump through hoops to justify a fucking puppy smashing factory. Uh, it doesn't matter no. what the factory is. No, it does. It, it does matter. If, in the analogy. if no, if Nike was try, if if Nike was in this autonomous zone where they're burning shit down, I'd say burn down Nike too. They're oppressive too. I don't give two flying fucks about the Nike factory because the Nike factory is built upon oppression. I don't. I don't care. I don't care if it's your job to work at a puppy stomping factory or a sweatshop manufacturer. I don't care if it's oppressive. Burn it the fuck down. You can work at McDonald's. I do, I do, so it do not matter. So what about Because they do the same thing. What, what is about how, Who does Wendy? McDonald's oppress? They do the same thing. Who does Wendy's about, oppress? Who does Wendy and McDonald's oppress? Yes. The people who have to get the jobs. In the yeah, I was going to say the people who work there. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not oppressive. I, I don't think that's any not oppressive at all. is your friend. <laughs> no, none of them are. None of them are. No, no brand is your ever friend. been somebody's friend. You know that. I know that you know that. That's why you said it was a hoop. But it doesn't matter what business it is that gets burned down. It definitely matters. If uh, if yeah, AutoZone gets burned down, I would feel a whole lot worse for AutoZone for than I would for time. Nike. I would feel a whole lot worse what? for AutoZone, why, the guy who you, fixes my car. Why are you being gay for a store? Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, If, if you have a point, then please make it. If you don't, I then am. please it's shut the fuck up. I, liter I um, literally I said my point. point. It's actually funny the last time you mentioned we should do a debate because we're doing that now. Would yeah. you like to hear what I have to say? Well, yeah, I've been waiting for you to make a point, but you've just been kind of like spewing trash. So could you make one, please? It's not trash. It's the factual things that are happening. I'm okay. one of the many people right here where <laughs> I live that has been personally affected because of the poof riots. We went from a state where we're supposed to be waiting to help flatten the curve and stop things. And then we were told, hey, guys, go outside. Take your kids outside. Go to violent riots. Whether or not they're being made violent because there are people who are actively making them violent, there are. Whether or not they've been nonviolent, and there has been plenty of them that have been nonviolent. Well, Carl, have I haven't, I haven't said out. anything about. No, 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 I haven't no, no, said no, no, anything no, 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 about. No, 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 no. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. There have been I haven't made a claim to that though. Been doing. I didn't say you'd made the claim to it. I'm laying okay. out the framework because sure. I know there are going to be people who don't know where we're coming from. Because okay. I am making jokes that you have to know the facts about. So let's like I did in my own video. I'll put that in the uh, in the podcast chat. Anybody wants to watch it. I have been paying very well attention while these riots have been going down because not only have they personally affected me, but it's affecting everybody in the same way of what I'm saying. It's why it doesn't matter what business it is that got burned down. It's the fact that things are being burned down instead of people doing nonviolent protest and not 
destroying their own cities. It doesn't matter if it was a puppy smashing factory. It doesn't matter if it's Nike. It doesn't matter if it's Barcelona's. It doesn't matter if it's Juicy Couture. It doesn't matter if it's Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King or fucking Arby's. You don't burn down your own neighborhoods because of police injustices that you have against not the officer, not the men who were there on the ground, but against the very system that is responsible for the shit that has people in the streets using their voices where they have celebrities being called to arms as the voices to stand against it i don't need celebrities to speak for me i can speak for me and the streets are speaking for themselves there are some people who have done everything absolutely perfectly right and they're still getting shat on because silence is violence it, it doesn't matter what you use for the comparison because the point will still go back to whether or not do I, me, on the sidelines, being affected by people's violent actions to think are all cops bastards. Clearly, and I answered this before, I answered it twice. No, all cops are not bastards. They definitely are. But it's are. clearly more than enough. There is more than enough bad officers who have been getting away with this, if not for months, if not for years, their entire career in the police force. So let, there me, are good officers. let me ask you a question, There are Carl. good officers. Yes. Okay. So what do you what you know what the Second Amendment was made for, right? What what it what it's there for, right? It's, yes, it's to, I it's know a fight, that it it's was a fight made. against it's to fight against, it's against tyranny, tyranny of, uh, inside of our own state, but right? We're being oppressed so, by so our own you, people who are so trying you, to take you've that been up. talking you've been talking for a solid five minutes. I've been keeping track. Can go you ahead, just go ahead. okay, okay, go ahead. okay. So when you give a man a badge and a gun, uh, he does have more rights than you. That's that's not this that's not like a question of it. If you get harassed by a police officer, which I have been, right, and it can be totally off the books. It can be it can be gone to time. It, there there can be no records of it, and you just have to deal with it. You have to sit down and take it up the ass. People in this area obviously are getting tired of taking it up the ass. Now I don't condone rioting. I don't condone random businesses being fucked up. Like I do. I I may think it's a good thing that certain businesses do get fucked up but that's separate to this issue if you are being Isn't oppressed it? if you are being oppressed then you should fight up against uh, you should rise up against that tyranny you should rise up against that oppression obviously these people are under the impression that they are oppressed and they told their community we want change and now they're gonna get it and whatever change they get it could work it could not work it doesn't matter they fought up and they fought against what was fucking hurting them uh that's something i admire I don't think yeah, they're going it's the right direction. Yeah, corporations with that are oppressing them. Bro. Yes, are you kidding it me? It is the actions. No, I am not kidding. Because the point of all of this happening is because of police officers and their bad policing, not corporations. It you don't. You don't think do corporate. You don't think corporations play a part in our government at all. They do to the extent of their money. But clearly, you think that is not you think that money has a hurt. stopping point. That's that's fu it's funny. That's Carl. not what I said. That's not what I said. Because you just said it's set the issue of the corporations having businesses destroyed is separate to the issue of the policing. Yes, was that a statement that you just made? I think yeah. I th I think it's good that some businesses were destroyed on a separate on a separate issue. Right on a separate issue is that um, including the people who have for generations built their businesses off the back of working with those communities. No, people who have the small business. Oh, I, I, I I weep for the small businesses. Oh, so you care about the small businesses, but not the large businesses. But you just said no. I never. I went. never. I never said the large yes, businesses you either. You said no. it three times. I did. I say large businesses, Carl. Can you replay that for what me? What is the corporation? Okay. What is the corporation, Carl? What I'm saying specifically. Is businesses that oppress people. I'm not making a claim no, to which businesses oppress it. people. You started with corporations; they're responsible for it. The money went into it. Small I think a lot of. I think a lot of. I can't name the specific corporations, but I think a lot of corporations are I involved just in government. Some of them. Every single one of them that participated in the blackout is one of those corporations. Is one of those corporations that what? Is one of those corporations that is 100% leaning with the mob as they scream, silence is violence, while no. all of those people's voices are being silenced, like the small business owners who have built their jobs and their stores and their businesses and companies, countries, and their own communities around them working, 
have outright had their shit destroyed and razed to the ground. Because Carl, I don't. Uh, Carl, plane. I don't. I don't know. Let's land the plane, guys. Let's land the plane. Yeah, let's land the plane. I, I have no idea. You, you're jumping for five different subjects. I'm trying. I'm trying to talk about. All connected to the same thing. I'm trying Time to talk. About... I know exactly what you're talking about. You're but... talking about the fact that you think corporations directly fund police, but you also forget the fucking fact that it's the mayors and the cities that are fucking corrupt. You kind of forgot that link in the chain. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I'm not forgetting any link of the chain. I think if yeah, I, if, you, if you don't like your mayor, over it. if you don't you like your mayor, if you don't like your mayor, you should take him out to the guillotine and cut his fucking head off. Is that is that no, what you want? No, we should not. Kill yes, people. you sh you should kill people. No, no, you don't. You do not commit violence against people. The your feelings. Wait, 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 wait. I can only, I can only, <laughs> I can, I can only hear one person at a time. Please. Shut up. If we're on the right of civil liberties, right? Civil rights, correct? Okay. Yes. Violence incites more violence. It does. Absolutely. The, the, like the point of a democracy is that we don't need the guillotine anymore. We don't okay. need the Do guillotine, the corrupt mayor. This this democracy is, is tainted. Um, I don't think it's a true democracy anymore. You so, don't know what the democracy point, is. The point, the point, no, okay, point. okay, Mariner. Okay, Mariner. Guys, okay, guys, Mariner. No, guys, no, 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 no. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> guys, okay. The, the main reason that things are allowed to get corrupt and things are corrupt is not because that it's suddenly unfixable or always been unfixable. It's the fact that most people are just apathetic to politics in the first place. Most yes. people don't bother looking into deep things or looking into what side is actually what or who does anything because it's too much work to do all that. Those are what we call They would stupid rather people. just vote. That's most of, that's 90% of people. That's what we call stupid people. <laughs> that's, that's the largest I mean, population. Uh, we have a better word for that. It's what we call slacktivists. Mariner, you said I didn't I'm know what democracy not, not is. I want to talk to you about that. Not the slacktivists. It's just people oh, don't bother, people don't bother to look into any of this because it's too much work. They would rather just make a choice and go on with their lives and then blame other people for the choice they made. Mm -hmm. Even go to need moderators. Period. No, nah. That's that's like the <laughs> uh, that's like the opposite of blood sports. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Mariner, if you Carl Mariner, if you want to go on Twitch or whatever, or on a separate show that me and Time Shark are cooking up, and you want to talk about this in like a blood sports context, I'm totally down with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, but, uh, but guys, 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 tune into tune into Digital Bloodface on Twitch. Oh, Digital Bloodface. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh god.